Round seven of the American Le Mans series was a groundbreaking race at the inaugural Baltimore Grand Prix. A massive and enthusiastic crowd saw Oryx Dyson racing driver Stephen Kane and Hamid Al Masood score their first win in the championship. It was a fight between teammates as Dyson Racing's Chris Dyson and Guy Smith fought with their sister car for the lead. But Kane was able to hold on for the win, crossing the finish line almost seven seconds ahead of Smith. Tony Burgess and Chris McMurray finished the Autocon Lola in third. The GT battle was intense from the first lap when the two Corvettes driven by Jan Magnussen and Olivier Beretta made contact, causing a traffic jam for the GT lead. Wolf Hensler of Team Falcon Tire took advantage, got up the inside and in between the two Corvettes to move into second. After a restart, Hensler's teammate Brian Sellers was able to move into first and finished first in GT by a lap. Joey Hand and teammate Dirk Muller finished second in GT, while the number four Corvette of Magnussen and Ollie Gavin held on for third. In LMPC, mechanical troubles caused core Autosports' Ricardo Gonzalez and Gunnar Jeanette to make a lengthy pit stop. That allowed Intersport Racing's Kyle Marcelli and Tommy Treacy to jump ahead. The pair ran unchallenged for their second win of the season. Eric Lux and Elton Julian were second for Genoa Racing, while core Autosports' sister car with John Bennett and Frankie Montecalvo finished third. Starting from pole position, Jerome Blakemolen and Tim Pappas brought the Black Swan Racing Cup car home for their fourth win of the season in GTC. Finishing in the same lap was Alex Job Racing and Magnus Racing for second and third place respectively. Michelin Green X Challenge Honours went to overall winner Oryx Dyson Racing and in GT it was Team Falcon Tyre. Continuing the ALMS emphasis on green racing, the Baltimore Grand Prix saw a significant 42% of oil replaced by renewable fuels compared to traditional all petroleum racing fuel. The American Le Mans series rounded at Mazda Raceway Laguna Sega saw a thrilling finish. Dyson Racing's Chris Dyson and Guy Smith secured the LMP championship for the series by finishing second in the race. For Smith, this LMP1 victory marks his first championship title since 1995 when he won the British Formula Renault series. Taking first place in LMP1 and the overall victory was the Aston Martin 007 car of Adrian Fernandez, Stefan Mucker and Harold Primat. However, they're not registered for the series and enabled Dyson Racing to collect maximum points. The sister car of Dyson finished third in the hands of Butch Leitzinger, Amir Al Massoud and Stephen Kane. The GT class also saw the driver and team championships clinched as the BMW 56 M3 GT driven by Dirk Muller and Joey Hand finished second in the race, securing the points needed to win the championship. It was a first for the drivers but second consecutive team win for BMW. Coming in first in GT was the Flying Lizard Porsche 911 driven by Patrick Long and York Bergmeister. And third on the podium went to Extreme Speed Motorsports Johannes van Overbeck and Scott Sharp their best result of the season. The action continued in LMPC with the first and second place finishes on the same lap at the end of the race. First went to Genoa Racing's Eric Lux and Michael Gouache, while the three driver team of Ricardo Gonzalez, Rudy Hunko and Gunnar Jeanette took second for Court Autosport. In the sport racing's David Ducote, Kyle Marcelli and Chapman Ducote finished out the podium in third. In GTC, TRG made a big push for the ALMS GTC Championship with a first place finish. Drivers Spencer Pumpelli, Duncan Endy and Peter Ludwig were able to keep their 66 Porsche ahead of Black Swan Racing's Jerome Blakemolen, Tim Pappas and Sebastian Blakemolen, who finished second. Damien Faulkner and Peter Lasafra for Black Swan Racing Green Hornet finished third. Going into the final LMS round at Road Atlanta, Black Swan Racing leads the championship by only seven points. Level 5 Motorsports had an impressive debut of their new Honda Performance Development ARX-01G taking an overall fourth place finish and securing the LMP2 Driver Championship for Scott Tucker and Christoph Bouchou. The 14th annual Petty Le Mans powered by Mazda was a fitting end to a fantastic nine race American Le Mans series presented by Tequila Patron season. At the head of the field, the action was provided almost race long by the ILMC diesels of Audi and Peugeot. The result in doubt until Romain Dumas going for the lead made contact with a GTC car and ended the afternoon in the wall just after turn number seven. It was by no means a clean day for either of the major works teams with each of them having cars behind the wall at stages during the day. It was left to the number eight Peugeot to come home by a few laps from in second place and crowning off a fantastic career 
for the old 908 HDI, the number 10 Orica Matt Mudcar, backing up its win at Sebring at the start of the season with a second place at Petit Le Mans. And in third place, another podium finish for the returning Aston Martin Racing, the 007 car coming home third after its win at Master Raceway Laguna Sega a couple of weeks ago. Fittingly for the ALMS, the best of the LMS runners was the 16 car, the Dyson Racing Team, confirming their status as LMS champions for 2011. In LMP2, it was the 33 of Scott Tucker, João Barbosa and Christoph Bouchou who took the victory. Their almost brand new HPD ARX was the class of the field and fought its way through. In second place in P2, the LMS debut of United Autosport, the number 22 Oak Pescarolo chassis, proving to be very effective in the hands of the new team. In third position, Signatech Nissan made it a great season on the podium at Le Mans and Petit Le Mans. The Le Mans prototype championship was on the line coming to Petit Le Mans. We expected a battle between the 06 Core Autosport and the 063 Genoa cars, and we got it, but they weren't at the front of the field, and it was not without drama as both cars hit trouble at various times of the race. In the end, it was a pass just five miles before the end of the thousand that put the PR1 Matheson Motorsport 52 car into the lead and onto the top step of the podium for Ken Dobson, Henri Richard and Ryan Lewis. In second position, the 89 had had a good day and battled well. Carl Marcelli, Tommy Dreesey and Chapman Decode with his brother David fighting through to a hard-fought second position. But the battle for the championship was not really sorted out. Third place on the podium was good for the 06 with Gunnar Jeanette hoping that that would be good enough for the championship win. But with his teammate's car having an accident late on, that promoted the 063 to fourth position and meant that they were tied completely. And we have the first set of core champions in American Le Mans series history. In GT, it was the AF Corsa 51 Ferrari that took the honors at Petit Le Mans. But their race was not without incident and drama. They struggled back from early problems, fighting their way through traffic, making the overtaking maneuvers and claiming the victory. The second place battle went right to the end of the race and an audacious outside move in the dying moments by Jörg Bergmeister in the 045 Flying Lizard took second place ahead of the 55 BMW and more importantly took the tyre manufacturer's championship for Michelin. In GTC, Black Swan Racing really only needed to make 70% to crown Tim Pappas for the second year running. They went one better standing on the top step of the podium ahead of the 23 battery tenders Alex Job Racing Car and the other championship contender, the 66 TRG Porsche. Another fabulous season of racing for the American Le Mans Series presented by Tequila Patron.